So we're looking at what we call our reactor. And so every other one of these channels that you're seeing here uh, is alternating between a hot and a cold channel that are exchanging heat with one another. And they're just peppered with really thin uh, fins to create that surface area and really promote heat transfer. So one of the things that we were studying as we were printing this part is how thin a wall thickness can we go uh, to really get those high heat transfer capabilities out of this geometry. So we would run countless studies of just seeing how tiny we can make that laser make a little line in the powder to get this the geometry that you're looking at here today. We go after uh, cobalt chrome on our, our hardware here today, number one, because um, it's a material that we're fairly familiar with from our GE aerospace days, and it just transitioned nice to uh, being in a hot environment that these parts are. Uh, so we see pretty high temperatures and we need uh, very high creep capability out of our parts. And so that's one of the major benefits of going with a cobalt chrome is that we can get material capability, but also environmental protection uh, with the chromium that's mixed with the cobalt alloy. The, the cobalt chrome life cycle, as you go through the additive process, we do try to recycle it uh, up to 100%. So any unused powder from our prints is going back in and being re-sieved to go to another batch of parts being made. And then we ultimately will go back to the powder suppliers um, with powder that's not usable for us anymore after it's reached its end of life. And those guys will melt that down and re-atomize it for something that we can reuse again on new parts.